Matt was my first crush, and obviously, things didn't go as well as planned. Some people say, children do what they feel, no matter what others think, and regardless of anyone else's standards. I've always had a hard time with relationships. My parents divorced when I was six. I tried to convince myself that I would find the perfect guy because I knew I would never make my children go through what I had to. Growing up was a huge just, journey. You know. I really had no clue what we'll life was all right. about. Yeah. All right, I'll see you later. Searching for this was not easy. Mm, I'll call you. I still had my goal of finding the perfect guy. All right, sweetie. See ya. Is this the girl that used to tell me everything? Is this the guy that stopped listening? Jenny. Jenny. I do hear you. You hearing me was never the problem. The problem is you listening. I'm so over this. But I'm not over this. I mean, we've been best friends since like forever. You're gonna let this drama get in the way of our relationship? Yeah, of course it's my fault, right? You know me and Courtney do not get along. Why would you start dating her? You know what? I don't even care anymore. Now I'm the one that's not listening. We conquer India because the barbarians can't uh, control themselves. They're kind of trapped. People always remember that feeling they get around their first crush. Now in the United States, the same. Now take us. Uh, the I was totally feeling it when I was around Matt again. Intellectuals. And the reason had to do with what was going on. However, I never considered releasing my feelings for Matt. For the West, not just the U.S., I mean, France and England are worse. It's probably the low point in intellectual history for, for the West, I think. I mean, it was, it was like a comic strip mimicking a satire of Stalinism, literally. You take a look at the New York Times and the, Brit the you know, French press, the British press, it was all full of talk about how there's a normative revolution that has swept to the West for the first time in history. A, a, a state, namely the United States, the leader of the free world. I simply dreaded saying goodbye to those who I was close to. Uh, Clinton's policy is in. But I had no choice. It's with a saintly glow. I was ready to start a new stage in my life. And aside, what was I was going off to New York University, my dream school. Uh, in the year prior to the bombing, according to just the Western sources, uh, about 2,000 people were killed. Uh, killings were distributed. Uh, a lot of them were coming. From, in fact, according to the British government, which was the most hawkish element of the alliance. Through all the awkward stages and fun memories, I made it. I graduated.